Hey everybody, Dan Hawkins once said we're talking Big 12 football. So now we're gonna talk Big 12 football, only recruiting. I am really enthusiastic. Let's start with the players that are gonna make immediate impacts in the conference this fall. A. Sean Robinson, that would be an A and then apostrophe Sean Robinson. Defensive tackle for Texas, could be the best in the country. Destructive, mean, huge, strong, maybe the strongest player in the country. Will wreak havoc within the conference and beyond. Only pro he's a bit of a motor issue, but listen, if you're that big, that's okay to have. Number two, Kent Perkins also going to the 40 acres at Texas. Uh, it projects as a right tackle for the Longhorns, but the, the Texas team really is in need of dominant offensive line play, considering how talented their skill positions are on the offensive side of the ball. So they've identified a couple of big offensive linemen, and Kent Perkins headlines that class. And Robbie Rhodes going to Baylor. Uh, an elite wide receiver, has tremendous speed on the outside, a little bit raw in his route running and his catching, but with that kind of speed and Art Bryles to be the one to get him open, you can count on yards upon yards upon yards. Let's run down the different teams in the Big 12 and what they've been able to do on the recruiting trail. Texas, no surprise, once again, has the best class. We mentioned Ashawn Robinson in the offensive line. Talent all over the board. They did lose some commitments, which was rare. They get the early commitments in Austin, but they lose some commitments spring, fall, summer, but they're still restocking. They're going to be just fine. The class is good. It's a matter of coaching and development at this point for the Longhorns. Oklahoma's done a good job, especially on the offensive side of the ball. They'll keep rolling. They have a quarterback of the future. They've got a really good running back in the class. Staying in state, Oklahoma State loading up on elite receivers. We saw what Justin Blackman was able to do in Stillwater. No surprise that they're able to acquire similar talent. They're going to be great no matter who the future quarterback is. It could be one of three people really at this point. They're going to have all sorts of weapons on the outside. Kansas State, not a huge surprise. No real big names in the class loading up on JC guys for immediate impact. Very typical for a Bill Snyder team, but especially on defense, the concentration seems to be in that front seven, especially along the line. I anticipate Kansas State to stay good as long as Bill Snyder's there. Let's go out east to, well, a rather new Big 12 school in West Virginia. Not recruiting a ton of elite athletes, but they're doing it all along the eastern seaboard. And if there's ever a school and an offense in which a team can plug and play, it is the Mountaineers as they look to replace Tavon Austin and Stedman Bailey and Geno Smith. But they do have the talent coming in, perhaps just not as developed as other top schools have. TCU focusing on surrounding real new quarterback Trevon Boykin. He played the second half for most of last season because of Casey Paul Hall. Well, he sold drugs, but they're loading up on offensive skill talent. They're going to be just fine in Fort Worth as they transition to a full-time Big 12 team. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the Big 12 is a great conference, but we're not going to talk Kansas because honestly, nobody wants that. So there are the highlights of the Big 12. Let us know who your early impact guys and which teams are going to improve most given their young talent. Do it in the comments. We'll see you soon.